Las Vegas, known for its glitz and glamour, it's played host to some true titans of sport. And now F1 has returned to the glittering city after 40 years, the streets echoing with the sound of the world's best drivers pushing the world's fastest cars to the limit under the lights. It's been a star-stunned and spectacular weekend so far, so let's recap what's been happening. From the grid to the green, on Tuesday, Carlos Sainz, Lando Norris, Pierre Gasly, and Alex Albon teamed up with some real golfers to compete in the Netflix Cup an event that combined the stars of the two streaming giants behind the scenes sports shows, Drive to Survive and Full Swing. First to their ball got to play, so speed was the key. Alex Albon suffered a slippery start. I, f I did embarrass myself. Um, I enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun. I have to say, I was up against Pierre. Um, he almost took someone's head off. Uh, <laughs> he still won, that is very true. Carlos Sainz came home the winner alongside pro golf teammate Justin Thomas. However, the Spaniard had a trophy mishap on the podium. There was a grand opening ceremony to celebrate the return of F1 to Las Vegas, featuring performances by Kylie Minogue, John Legend, Steve Aoki, Jay Balvin, and 30 Seconds to Mars, among others. 1997 Drivers World Champion Jacques Villeneuve took a trip to the Chapel of Love in the paddock on Wednesday. An Elvis impersonator serenaded the Canadian's partner, now wife Julia, with a rendition of Here Comes the Bride. You are now husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Alpine investor and Hollywood superstar Ryan Reynolds was given a nice surprise from Esteban Ocon, the driver sporting a Deadpool-inspired helmet this weekend. Throwing it all on the table, multiple drivers arrived in shiny new helmets, giving the Las Vegas Strip a run for its money. Albon and Valtteri Bottas taking the gamble on poker themes, whilst Max Verstappen and Lance Stroll opted for neon designs. Rolling in with extravagant liveries, seven of our teams have revealed custom designs this weekend. Standouts include Alfa Romeo's black and gold skin and Williams' Vegas-themed ensemble. Valtteri Bottas released his new 2024 calendar this week, a note to his peachy hobby of being one with nature. I have to be honest, parts of me think this is sexy. I feel that surprise from oh, yeah. the rip gift there. The Finn is donating a share of the profits to prostate cancer research and continues to raise money this month for Movember. Joe Guan Yu even received a signed gift. Joe, Hello. You're good? You're good? How are you doing? Good. Got some Is that what I think of it is? I think it is. <laughs> wow. From the uh, podcast calendar. Christian Horner celebrated his 50th birthday on Thursday. However, the party will be on ice after an unusual qualifying session, with Verstappen finishing P3 and Sergio Perez in P12. Can the Red Bull drivers salvage the race and make it a weekend to remember for their team principal? FP1 was curtailed after a loose manhole cover damaged Sainz's car, and FP2 was extended to 90 minutes as a consequence. Qualifying brought surprises you really couldn't predict, with both McLarens failing to make it out of Q1. Lewis Hamilton and Perez also struggled to ride their luck, exiting qualifying in Q2. Both Williams found themselves in Q3, bringing their Vegas emblazoned car to P6 and P7 on the grid, which becomes P5 and P6 after penalties applied. They say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but this could be one for the history books. So, who's feeling lucky this weekend? Will McLaren rally from a disappointing qualifying session and push through the field? Or will Ferrari have aces up their sleeve to hold off for Stappen? All we know is all cards will be on the table here at the Las Vegas Grand Prix. You don't want to miss it.